From my perspective, working with sustainability as a journalist and program host, I see uh, more of a race to the top when it comes to addressing the sustainable development goals. And goal 12, sustainable uh, consumption and production, of course, is, is very applicable on, on, your, in, on your industry. Francisco, from Clabine's perspective, what can you tell us about how you work with goal 12? Clabin uh, joined the United Nations ambition to reduce the um, increasing temperature by only one and a half degrees by 2030. We are discussing targets for the 17 goals and, uh, and specifically the goal, the number 12, uh, that's, uh, that relates to sustainable production uh, and process. And uh, this means that we are working also in our own supply chain and also with our customers in order, let's say, to set goals to, let's say, materials that has less impact when it has been produced. We are trying to introduce more renewable chemicals. We are trying to use much more uh, fibers, uh, nanofibers, microfibers in our products that will enhance physical properties. That means stronger paper with less fibers being in use. Thank you, Francisco. Karina mentioned aluminum and the barrier as, as a bit of a, well, as a, as a problem that you're innovating away from. Well, this is a, uh, one of the challenges that we are facing is how to create the, the uh, barriers with renewable material. So we are now developing technologies, uh, co-creating with our customer like Tetra Pak, uh, in order to uh, set goals and, and, and uh, technology to use better materials on that, the renewable materials. So that's the main challenge. And, and in our case, we are uh, 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 discovering that uh, some parts of the fibers can be used to some of these barriers in a very uh, uh, competitive and, uh, and good solutions.